For me, I like movies of things that I haven't seen before. I like really good twists and I like getting a steady stream of information and that's 100% this movie to a T. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on a movie called Shattered from 1991. Now, there's actually three movies called Shattered in the last 30 years. When you type in Shattered, probably the new one will come up. It's actually rated really poorly. Ironically, there was a movie in like 2007 called Shattered and it actually looks really interesting. It's about like Pierce Brosnan's like an evil guy and he's like messing with a couple or something like that. So I did want to check that one out too, but um, this is Shattered from 1991. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys, I really, really enjoyed this movie. I put this movie on, like, I don't really know why, like at 1.30 or two, and it was one of those movies that I watched straight through the end. I was actually really impressed by it. I'm sure I'm gonna be describing the plot at some point, so let's just jump into the pros that I had of this movie. And the pros is that it moved at a really good pace. So basically the story, it opens up with a guy he's like in this crazy car crash and he's with a girl the girl jumps out and you see him in bandages and he's all hurt he's being taken care of at the hospital they show you just enough and things move at a great pace so as soon as he gets out you could just tell something's not right like he's talking to all of his friends everybody you know seems nice and seems friendly but there's just these little things that seem weird things that just don't make sense and he knows that he can really only trust himself because he's seeing these little weird things that aren't matching up with what people are saying. Probably the best part of this movie is just how unique it is because like I've never seen a movie like this. Like I was so on board with the story. A guy has like amnesia, he's, he's really hurt. He's finding out little bits from everybody. It sounds like something you've heard a lot before, but after watching it, it just really has a unique feel that you can understand right away. You already know that this movie is gonna be really twisty. There's obviously a mystery here. Something's happened, something weird is going on that we don't know what it is. And you know, when you see this little basic plot, there's not that much stuff that they could do. It's like, what kind of mystery could you really pull over our heads with what we've seen? This movie has two twists and the twists are very, very far out there. There are things that pretty much line up with the story and I just would have never guessed in a million years. Not only does it have one, but it has two twists. So I'm gonna be kind of describing that more in the cons in a second, but I do think that the twists, they matched up with the story and I would have never guessed them in a million years. So I appreciated that. If you're somebody who gets really bored, you don't like a lot of wasted time, this movie's great because it's really short and moves very quick. There was actually somebody online, I think on IMDb or a reviewer saying that it just jumped from scene to scene to scene too quick. It didn't really feel rushed. And at the same time, like you're trying to figure out things in the story. So when things move along, you're slowly finding out more very quickly. I really like that. So if you're somebody with a short attention span, this is a good movie. The main things I liked about it was just how understandable it is. Like you completely understand his situation and it's so unique. Um, you slowly find just perfect little bits of information and it has two twists that are just way outside the box. I just absolutely love it for that. I had to finish it as soon as I started it and I got over with the movie at like four in the morning, so. All right guys, let's jump into the cons of this movie. So the cons is that it does stretch the believability a little bit at the end. Now these twists are, they do match up with the story and it is a really good twist based on what we've seen, but it's extremely far-fetched and out there, both of them. I could kind of see somebody being like, oh man, this is just taking me out of it because the beginning is a lot more grounded, but because these twists were so great and in my opinion, they match up, I didn't really have that as much of a problem, but it definitely does stretch believability at the end. And there's also a side character that looks like he's gonna die, but he doesn't. And the explanation of how he stays alive is just completely out there, completely fake. It's kind of almost a joke. But when this movie's so serious, it's like, I see that you're trying to make a joke, but it's like, I wish you would come up with a more serious answer to how he was alive because it's a very serious movie, you know what I mean? And then maybe the last con is that a lot happens in this movie and it does move pretty quick and I like it for that quickness. But I think if they stretch things out and let things breathe just a little bit, it might have had a little bit more punch at the end and you could kind of maybe build up these twists a little bit more believably. I remember somebody uh, reviewing this movie and was like, you know, you never really got on board with any one character. 
And I kind of agree with that, but once you know the twist, it kind of makes sense, you know, why you don't really like too many characters. So a lot of people really didn't like this movie. I think of the video reviews, like almost everybody didn't like it, but I really did. I loved it. For me, I like movies of things that I haven't seen before. I like really good twists and I like getting a steady stream of information. And that's 100% this movie to a T. Very few movies, like probably like one in 15 are so good that I just have to watch through and this was one of them so i'd probably give it an eight out of ten for me this is a buy but for you guys i would say it's a try very very interesting mystery definitely check out shattered from 1991 so anyways guys we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers i couldn't do it without any of you guys hope you guys are the best having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace